Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. In today's session, we are going to discuss the concept of agricultural income in India. So, basically agricultural income is the income that is generated by performing agricultural activities. In India, the income that is generated from performing agricultural activities is totally exempted from tax. Now, exempt from tax means we do not have to pay any tax on the income earned by performing agricultural activities. This is very important point that you have to remember is section 10 class 1 of IT Act 1961 says that agricultural income is totally exempted from tax in India. Now the question may arise the particularly agricultural income is exempt from tax right the main reason for this is agriculture is backbone of our country it is the primary occupation of India and many people depend upon agriculture to earn their livelihood in India but agricultural sector is full of uncertainties it is totally a natural phenomenon and nature is unpredictable right so people nowadays start to shift their occupation from agricultural sector to secondary and territory sector and at the time of natural calamities or at the time of losses farmers cannot earn enough to fulfill their needs then there is no question of payment of taxes by them right proposal of exempting agricultural income was brought and followed by indian national congress government later on it was followed by all there were many critics who argued to levy tax on agricultural income after certain limit but 90 percent of farmers in india earn very less income from agriculture so payment of taxes is not possible by them so now let us try to understand what is meant by agricultural income it can be shown with the help of following chart any rent or revenue derived from land which is situated in India and it is used for agricultural purpose here it means if we have any land and it is given to others on rental basis or for lease the income that we get from that land in the form of rent will be treated as agricultural income but there are two conditions for it first one the land that is given for rent or lease must be used for agricultural purpose only it means cultivation activities must be carried on that particular land if that land is used for some other purposes like construction of building or uh, commercial purposes it cannot be treated as uh, the it cannot be treated as revenue out of it cannot as agricultural income and second condition is the uh, the land must be situated in India it may be in part of the country but it has to be within the boundaries of the country if the land that is given on rental or lease basis if it is situated in some other country even though the land is used for agricultural activities the rent or revenue from that particular land cannot be treated as agricultural any income derived from land by agricultural operations here it means that if we are doing any agricultural activities and growing some crops flowers fruits plants etc if they are sold in the market the revenue which we get by selling those products is treated as agricultural income 
any process ordinarily employed to render the produce fit for the market. It means for the products further processing in industry will be required to make them ready to be sold in the market. For example, paddy grown in the agricultural form cannot be sold directly in the market. Further processing is required to convert it into rice which is ready to be sold in the market. The sale of such produce. If we generate any revenue by such activities that will be treated as agricultural income and it will be exempt from tax and if such products are sold in the market and if we generate any revenue out of it then it will also be treated as agricultural income any income from farmhouse farmhouse is nothing but a storage area a godown or a warehouse which is located near the farm but again there are conditions for it like the farmhouse must be located within the certain kilometers near the farm and it should be used to store agricultural producers only if any other products are stored in that area it cannot be called as farmhouse if this farmhouse is given for rent to others that income can also be treated as agricultural income but the condition is same here that is the farm house must be used to store agricultural products only if that farm house is used to store some other products then the rent received mm -hmm. out of it cannot be treated as agricultural income and it will not be exempt from tax now let us take a small test and try to figure out whether the given incomes are treated as agricultural income or not. So the first one is income from stone queries. The answer here is no. It is not an agricultural income because any agricultural activities like farming, saving are not undertaken here. The second one income from processing tobacco leaves so the answer here is s processing of tobacco leaves and selling them involves agricultural activities so it is treated as to be agricultural income third one income from sale of dried tobacco leaves the answer is Yes. As I told you in the previous example, processing of tobacco leaves involves agricultural activities. So if they are sold, the income that we get is agricultural income. Fourth one, rent received in kind from land let out for agricultural purpose. The answer here is yes. Here there are two things to be noticed. One is rent is received in kind. It is not necessary that always the rent received must be in the form of cash only. It can also be in kind. The other thing here is the rent is received form of land which is let out for agricultural purpose. If the land was used for any other purposes, we will not treat it as agricultural income. But here, this income is treated as agricultural income. Next, remuneration received as a manager in an agricultural form. The answer here is no. This is not an agricultural income because the manager is not doing any agricultural activity directly here. Here he is getting salary for management purpose which involves decision making and it is a mental process. So 
this salary cannot be treated as agricultural income next income from fisheries the answer is no fisheries involves fishing activities it does not involve any agricultural activities directly next compensation received from an insurance company for damage of crop here the answer is s this is an agricultural income because many farmers will get crop insurance in order to face uncertainties as agricultural sector is totally depends upon nature so the amount of claim received from insurance company for damage of crop is treated as agricultural income next income from growing flowers and creepers here answer is yes this income is treated as agricultural income because horticulture activities are involved in it <coughs> next dividend from a company engaged in agriculture answer is no this is not an agricultural income because we are receiving dividend from as a company but we have to remember that the dividend received from any indian company is exempt from tax here the tax will not be paid but this income cannot be treated as agricultural income so the 10th question is the work for you you have to answer for this question whether it is agricultural income or not in the comment section below okay guys so this was all about today if you found it helpful please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more such videos thanks for watching